Hello my friends and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In yesterday's video, John or Jim and family have settled into the Pronghorn Ranch and in today's video I think we're going to do some chores around the place. Cow milking. I think farming for beginners is where I'm going to go first. So there's some work to be done around the ranch with Mr. Dixon because we need to work extra hard. Extra, extra hard. Hello, fellows. Fellers. Nice morning, ain't it, mister? Hey, now. Hi. Quite a country. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See y'all okay? Huh. You have a fine time. See you around. It's so weird to, like, greet people and hear John's voice and not Arthur's. I... I miss Arthur. I miss my, my Still Not Wednesday... I miss, I miss all, all the things. I miss, I miss it all. This is so much more relaxed and like calm, which is great, but I, I miss, I don't miss Dutch. <laughs> let's be clear. Don't miss him at all. Anyway, let's talk to Mr. Dixon. Hey, Milton, can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Nope. Not really. <laughs> Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. Probably not. <laughs> I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. John. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Yep, there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Bing. Good. Now Anyone grab a rail, learn this. line it up with a notch, and place it in. Uh, place. Now lift up the other side. You gotta line up. See. Now the next rail. I mean, That's it's it. more muscle work than anything, I would think. Right? Fine. You're doing all right. You are doing all right, John. You're doing some good, honest work. May not seem exciting, but it should... Well, that looks okay. Feel good. Go to the next post and pound that in. All right, let's pick it up. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All okay. right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Again, it's not exciting robbing a bank, but like, it's not dangerous for you and your family either. Jim Mill, over here. Oh, hang on. I'm almost done with this one. Put that fist down and get over here, boy. Okay. Investigate the commotion at the corral. What's Come on, going son. on? Hurry! Hurry! Milton, get over here! Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Hi. Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Uh, come on! Move! Uh, uh, whoa! Whoa! Uh, God. <laughs> whoa! Uh, shit! I'll get him. Use your lasso. Get him a wall, Emil. And try and go again. 
I gotta build that. No, no. Ah! no. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, lock it off. Oh crap. He is pissed. Why do we keep missing? Now where are you going? Oh. I'm I'm not doing so well, am I? Not the fence! Oh. Get out of the way! Ah! Why do we keep having so many problems? How am I gonna calm this thing down? You don't look like you're gonna wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. There, there. There, there. Whoa, there. Whoa, there. Easy, easy. Easy, please don't run All over better? us again. Okay. Now come on, you hunk of Chuck. Stubborn, ain't you? <laughs> come on. Let's go. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Pretty and calm and peaceful and calm and peaceful. Hey. Ooh. I'll get the coffee on. Thank you. But I, I get the feeling John is just like it's not exciting I'm enough for him. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Down, 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 down. <laughs> I feel like something bad just about to happen. <laughs> John works a day at the ranch, helping Dickens build a fence and looking after livestock. Getting run over by livestock. Fix the first fence within 90 seconds. Avoid being hit by the bull. I mean, like, that was never going to happen. Let's be clear on that one. <laughs> okay, that was a pretty short mission. So I suppose we can go. Like, should we go do some cow milking? Oh my gosh, should we fix the fence? I mean, shouldn't we fix the fence? I feel like that should be an option. Cow milking. There's no cow to milk. It it got loose. Hello. Hey. Morning, partner. Morning. Oh, stamina is up. Yeah, I feel like shouldn't I be fixing the fence? <laughs> or somebody fixing the fence? I don't I don't know. Hello. Morning. Why would you antagonize? Wouldn't you just get fired if you antagonized? All right, let's go and find Mr. Gettys. I think that's his name. Oh, this big, at the big house. It's really, it's everything. It's just so lovely out here. <laughs> uh, where is he? Where are my other hands? Damn it, Abe. Abe, Mr. Gettys, you got an answer for me? I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to full, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! 
Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Uh, good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, hmm. he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. Oh. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. <laughs> of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah, yeah. just loud mouths. So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Oh, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. oh. Uh, okay then. Yeah. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. Who is this guy? Just morning, hanging out. Partner. Mor morning. Who are you? You do not look like a ranch hand. Okay, first you gotta calm you the horse down. I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. You done? Come on. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. <laughs> That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Is he calm? Well, no. he doesn't None of that. Calm. Hey. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Huh. <sighs> Calm down. You're okay. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. <laughs> That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. Okay, I'll wait in the corral. Good boy. Good boy. Here you go. Who's a crazy boy? All right. Okay. Up we go. Complete Jeremiah's stamina enough to calm him enough for Duncan to ride. Come on. Okay. Where's that? Big Look. mean horse. Yeah, boy. Yeah, Jeremiah. It's so beautiful out here. Come on. Let it all out of you. I'm just I'm too close. Let's get a lather up. Okay, that was fun, wasn't it? You can behave now, can't you? Let's go! No, we need to like tire him out, tire him out. He's ready for you. Is okay. he? Get on up there. The bar's all the way back nice up. And slow.
Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Good Not job. that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse? You need to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Aw. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? Probably. They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie. And if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... But just nothing. worry about the horse. Be a kid. Yeah? Yes, sir. For as long as you can, be a kid. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. Maybe John could do stuff like this. You Mr. Milton? Yes, ma'am. I thought you were going to help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. All right, well, we're going to go help uh, a horse give birth. Uh, not what I thought I was going to be doing today. <laughs> I was not on the list. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Oh my God. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Okay. Got him. Okay, now hold on. Oh, I lost it. Get a hold of it again. And okay. pull. Them. Almost. Oh. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. <laughs> we'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. Um, uh, no. I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around. Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. I saw where she was going with that. And, um, well, I appreciate that the second she knew that he was married, she was like, oh, never mind. Because, um, with the comment she was making about her husband, it would have been like really hypocritical if she was like, well, you know. But then again, she makes those comments about her husband, then she wants to kind of have alone time with the hand. So, there, you know what? Everybody's a hypocrite. It's fine. It's fine. Go to the house and speak to Abigail. We're going to report in. I did my job today, Abigail, and I didn't kill anybody. I helped birth the horse. Maybe? Maybe we'll get there? Hey, John. Jim! <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which... By the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. Yeah. For me. 
Or Jack. How's he been? He's been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Awful nice, okay, right? Missy. Let's go. Okay, hang on. My horse has been You'll aching be okay. for a brush. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream. Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Gonna run into a tree. Now let's go. John, Jim. Jack. A little kick and a uh faster? See, you can do it. Now how about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. No, this is fine. We don't need to go any faster than this. He's still learning. This is plenty fine, I feel like. Oh, I remember this house. This this house right over here. This is where I walked in and there was a bear <laughs> that almost ate Arthur's face. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> That's a hard cabin to forget. You know, this ain't so bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. Nice. How do I look? Better than before. Keep at it. You look great. I don't think we need to go any faster. Because I don't want Jack to fall off. And I don't want him to lose his confidence. What are we gonna do today? We're gonna go for a ride with John and his son. I feel like I'm that's getting sweet. there. I should hope so. Well, let's not run over the kid though. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> Abigail would totally get mad at us for that. Okay. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. Um, which is where? Yep. We should get back. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! Uh, <laughs> race Jack back to the ranch. I mean, like... Yeehaw! You would think that John and his horse should win, right? I 
want to run him I'm over. Waiting. No! Sorry! I don't want to run him over! Hey! Come back here! <laughs> You'll have to catch me! I mean, I'm trying to win, but like... You just step in front of him. Bigger, it is much bigger. much smaller. Like a jockey. I, I don't want to get too far away from Jack is what I'm saying, just in case something happens. Like he falls off. Ow. Are you still back there? Last straight. Come on. Hey -ya! Oh, Jack beat us! I beat you! I beat you! I <laughs> Well beat... ridden, son. <sighs> I beat you. You did. Good job. Like I said. I thought. You're riding. It's gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. <laughs> the shade. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Investigate the disturbance. Old habits. Oh no. You hear that? He don't like trespassers. That's what <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> you wanna watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How fancy pants get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. <laughs> oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> oh, come on, get him. Come on, get him. All right, come apparently we're. Daddy, Ooh. Apparently, this is happening. I'm gonna smell like cow dung, boy. Oh, heck. Get his goddamn brains out! They didn't hire you because you're tough. It's because you're Ooh. stupid. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, Daddy spends on women, saves on hands. Oh, oh he's licking you. Uh, it's like that, huh? Boss! Boss! You need help? And we'll beat, and we beat, and we beat oh, some boy, more. Can punch! Uh. Get off that man! Get off him! He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Not really. You're married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. I, I like that. I like this hat on John. I feel like it fits him. I love the striped shirt. I love it Not a lot. Here. I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. A gang of higher guns causes trouble on the Pronghorn Ranch. Defeat Laramie without taking a hit? Yeah, that's never going to happen. Or within 25 seconds. I, On one hand, I understand Abigail wanting John to just hide in the background. If we stay hidden and out of sight and in the shadows, they won't get noticed. They won't get caught. They won't get arrested. But on the other hand, John's like, 
we need to like protect what we ha if you want us to work here we need to work here and be part of this like little ranch work family you know so i understand both sides of it but abigail needs to calm down toad all right smile smile do not embarrass me oh dear what's going on over here okay so we have david gettys jim milton rides again and then abigail fatherhood for idiots go and see your wife well uh we will do that but we will start one of these missions on Wednesday, maybe I feel like we're, we're clicking through missions really fast and I haven't gotten to explore at all. But like it kind of fits with me not leaving right now because I'm supposed to be making good working extra hard on the ranch. But anyway, on Wednesday, we'll see where these missions go. And as usual, go from there. But as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Wednesday with another new Red Dead Redemption 2 video.